to my channel space remote sensing and gis so yesterday uh, sorry last week we discuss about the one uh, technique which is called as a mosaicing okay so mosaicing technique we discuss in in arcgis pro how we'll do the mosaics but uh, uh, as uh, uh, there is a very good capabilities we have in nv uh, okay to doing the mosaicing so definitely we will going to discuss about that okay so mosaicing is a very important technique as we all know so which i explain already to you in the last class but here uh, as you seen we have some high resolution images so uh, this is a ortho vrs image okay of a particular area it's a world view 2 data set okay which i will going to show you how we will do the mosaicing actually a uh, incident which is happened uh, uh, that time is basically happen in uh, haiti uh, after earthquake this is the situations and we want to do the mosaics of this particular scenes okay so how will do the mosaicing so to do the mosaicing in nv so there is a specific tool it is actually given to you for doing the mosaicing so you can come to this mosaic okay and here we have we are going to do the seamless mosaicing so seamless mosaicing is a mosaicing techniques okay so the images if you see this yeah. so as we know this is uh, four, three techniques are there quick bay, quick mosaic pixel based mosaic and the seamless mosaic so mosaic is zero points image into the one image to another image uh, using the guided workflow we are including doing the color balancing and edge filtering everything we can do in a one shot so that is what we the sim uh, mosaicing we usually do seamless mosaicing so let's open once you click this seamless mosaic so you see you may not able to see your uh, data because uh, it is um, now the mosaic scene is actually open so you need to add all your data to your this seamless mosaic scene so you need to click on this add button okay select the all the files and simply click on okay so now once you did that now see all your data is added to your mosaic scene now here the various options is given to you just like if you want to hide the scenes and on, only want to see the overlaps of one pixel to the one scene to the another scene so that you can see it here okay so if you want to uh, make back of the scenes so that you can do or if you want to hide uh, uh, this particular uh, the overlaps boxes so that also you can do even this is the only overlap so if you want to want the field overlap okay boxes one scene to another scene so that also you can able to see it from okay so now uh, there is a ordering is also there like this is the uh, reference image suppose this reference image i want to make it in a top so you can uh, bring to the front like that you can adjust okay so whatever you want to uh, adjust uh, the scene you want to make it in top or down so you can make it control like this so i just make it uh, send back so see here it is come and send back to the old locations okay so there is uh, various options is there like uh, bring front bring forward send back send back so you already understand how we will going to control the scenes by using this particular tab now the next important thing is the data ignore value okay so we should notice that uh, the each uh, tile has actually the black borders okay if you see in the between with the black borders okay and the surrounding uh, the images so this is very typically uh, the data collect which you are collecting okay so if i just turn on this cursor and i will show you the value over here you just see here uh, the value uh, it is not showing because some of the error is i having here so this is basically the zero value it is showing over here okay so uh, anyway so we just need to remove the zero value over this particular locations okay so that we can uh, adjust accordingly which will going to show you uh, now how to ignore the data value okay so here uh, you just see here this is data value is there you need to select from the top just right click on this change the selection parameter and make it that zero okay so if you just simply click on okay now you see still it is there but we, if you just little move the uh, screen you see here now the black pixels are removed okay i just remove the zero value over the location so like this way you can remove the uh zero values from the mosaic scenes okay now the next steps which you need to do so there is a lot of options will be there okay here the advantage of this simline editing that day i told you like now just for we don't have simline editing options but here you can do the simline editing which is also called as a cut line so 
uh, in this line along with the overlapping scenes which will be the mosaic okay so they help to make the scenes boundary is less visible are useful when the scenes are actually not aligned well or their boundaries okay so they are actually also helpful for overlapping the areas of significant differences in the features for example you can say the agriculture fields can appear differently in one image uh, compared to the overlapping image from a different date so maybe there is a no crop so uh, it is not looking good so which over the area you having the crop so you can take that particular area to doing the similarity so that's what you can do with this so i just showing you one example how we will do the same line editing so if you want to click on this and you need to generate auto generated same lines so once you generate it then only same lines will going to activate it okay so you see here some green lines will come so that is your same line so which you can edit uh, one scene to the another scene you can adjust the streamlines okay see here this is the game so now suppose i just want to uh, see this team uh, drums will be there so i just want to make it inside this the second scene uh, information should come so i can do the editing like this start editing okay uh, let's start editing and accordingly uh, we can zoom it the one minute uh, footprint yeah footprint is required otherwise we can't understand so suppose i just want to do the streamlining of this particular area so that's what i am just trying to edit over this particular locations to doing the streamlining so that it will be a little uh, better and you can understand uh, the this particular uh, streamlining okay so just a minute yeah, i can i will do it over here okay so it is better to understand so just take this take this take this and just right click and accept the polygons and see how the streamlines are actually changed from the actual scenes okay so this is the way you can do the streamline editings so streamline editings is uh, very useful when suppose the uh, previous scene maybe the boxes is not there and this scene is there so half of it is coming so you can adjust this according to make it the uh the, the differences between the image you can reduce down using this particular tool okay so that is a very useful tool over here which is i think it is missing in the vs pro but here it is a very good tool which you can uh, utilize it okay now next important thing uh there also i showed you about the histogram matching technique like like color balancing okay so there i told you about that there is a few area you can uh, do the color balancing open only the zero base there in arcgis pro but here you can do the color balancing over the satellite images like color corrections is there if you first you have to do the histogram matching so once you do the histogram matching so there is a differences in uh, the areas so i just only adjust on the overlapping areas and see how nicely it is done okay and uh, in color matching you have to take one as a reference image as i already uh, selected as a reference image so that's why i just uh, taking this as as my uh, reference image for my analysis okay so now there is one very important thing uh, that is called as a feathering okay so histogram matching as i already uh, applied over the image okay so that is part is done okay but uh, now the important part is the feathering distance which is also a important part so feathering distance so you can set a feathering distance for one or more scenes also the so feathering distance is actually the number of the pixels across the edges of the scan line um the scenes will be blended with the underlying scenes okay so you can combine this feathering uh, with the color corrections to create the smoother transactions between the adjacent scenes in the output okay uh, mosaics so by this default or uh, no feathering is also appeared which is coming so you if you want you can change this value okay so it's two options you will get edge feathering and the same feathering okay so both options will be there but first you have to give a proper uh, feathering distance so this is a streamline feathering is there so we will do the edge feathering first you just give a feathering distance so that is important here so i will just right click with the parameter okay i will give the feathering distance as 50 okay so 50 pixels i can give and simply click on okay so which will be applicable for all the things done now 
uh, here the simline feathering options you see here there is not so uh, there is edge feathering options is there and the simline so i already did the simline editing so that's why i will go with the simline feathering but if you don't have do the simline editing you can go with the edge feathering option also okay so it's on you what what kind of things you want to do so now uh, rest of the things are fine okay so if you see your rest of the things are fine okay so now you can simply uh, run the process okay so you can come to the export okay so i just uh, trying to save it as a nv format only okay i do not to change anything so here data name no value i already did as a zero so no need to change or do anything over here so this is the final steps so you have to run the mosaic and let's wait for the results so let's click on the run okay so i just make it as a finish and let's wait for the results. so as you seen here the mosaics are done okay so if you see here this is the before mosaic okay all the things which is showing you here like this and uh, this is your after mosaics how the things are coming okay this is the before uh, you can say the mosaic and this is the after mosaic data okay so if you want to do the swiping uh, sorry this is not swiping this is the swipe tool and you can able to see this one. okay so the before swipe and after swipe how uh, the images is actually coming so i just make it as selection of this then only you can able to see the differences okay so i hope you understand the differences between the uh, the two three scenes okay because this are actually the same scene so that maybe you will not understand because it is coming la looking like a same but it is actually how it is looking like so if you see this is the how the gaps are there and now gaps are removed okay by using the overlapping technique mosaicing techniques i removed the gaps so that's all from my side so i hope i try to explain you what are the advantages you will get in the nv to doing this particular mosaicing technique when you are doing the same line a uh, seamless mosaicing and you can do the same lines editing as well as you can do the color balancing using the histogram matching okay and the age feathering so a lot of options will be there okay to to make it your mosaic in perfect stretched and proper manner. thank you thank you very much all so i hope you like this video so if you like this video please share this video to others and please subscribe my channel okay so uh we will next week we will come with the another exciting exciting videos thank you thank you very much